This video will show you how to build a dry rainbow like this. According to the physics theory of rainbows, sunlight hits spherical droplets of water. Then, because water's refractive index is slightly different for each color, the colors diverge slightly, like in a prism, before being reflected. The detailed rainbow theory can be found in Walter Lee Wine's lecture How to make teaching come alive. After watching that video, I wondered if I could test such theory at home using glass instead of water. Glass can be purchased as marbles of various sizes, but the smaller the diameter, the easier it is to see the rainbow. For smaller indoor panels, I recommend using 0.3 mm diameter or less. The marbles are called microbeads at this size. A piece of cardboard is painted with a matte or non-shiny black paint. The darker the color, the better the contrast. Acrylic and gouache paint work, but gouache is preferable for kids. The surface should be painted thin in order to save microbeads. If there is too much paint, the beads will uselessly sink in the paint and more will have to be added on top. Microbeads should be sprinkled on top of fresh paint and in excess, so that the whole surface turns white. After a couple of hours, when the paint is dry, excess beads are recovered. White light gives the best rainbow. A small light source area also helps, like a single LED torch or a smartphone light.